The London Stadium welcomes two of international football's big hitters, Spain. And before all of the team news and the action, the two national anthems. Teams here. And this could be an absolute belter of a game. The standard in class really goes up a notch with this friendly here. A litmus test for both teams. Now both sides have changed their entire side from the last time they played. David Raya, the hero of Arsenal's recent Champions League win over Arsenal, over Porto, I should say, earns his fourth cap in goal. There's a recall for Pedro Porro, whilst Danny Vivian makes his day. The referee tonight is Michael Oliver, as the two captains come together. Okay, Loya Farble and Luis Diaz. Well, Colombia, without some big names, the likes of Yeri Mina, Mateus Uribe and Juan Cuadrado. Daniel Munoz and Jefferson Lerma play their club football in London with Crystal Palace. John Arias is one to watch, he's had a... Spain in action for the first time since a 3-1 win over Georgia in European qualification. Colombia in action for the first time since a 3-2 win over Mexico in a friendly... Both sides are very different, though, from the one. Now an opportunity for Spain to come forward with Grimaldo. Let's leave it in deep, it's a good delivery too. Away by Lukumi. Sarabia chasing this one down. High octane start, and Grimaldo strikes it straight at Vargas. Alex Grimaldo, understandably full of confidence. Having a fine campaign with Bayer Leverkusen, who are ten points clear of Bayer. Emerick Laporte now applying his trade in the Saudi Pro League with Al Nasser. They are second in that league. A teammate of Cristiano Ronaldo. And Moreno losing out in the challenge, and the flag has been raised. Diaz is down. Rather Mahika it was, and it wasn't a great challenge from Moreno. No malice in it. 11 goals this season for Gerard Moreno at Villarreal. And there is Nesta Lorenzo. Taken neatly and played in beautifully to Ayatharbal, the angle's tight. Really good block from Munoz. Neatly worked. And Grimaldo over this corner. A real threat from set plays, Grimaldo. Over it goes, causing a problem that Colombia have dealt with, but given away by Carascal. Zubimendi. Laporte. Moreno, and sent behind for a corner. Spain looking threatening though. Some Lerma going over the top there of Sarabia. Pablo Sarabia of Wolves. He hasn't played for Spain since that World Cup exit against Morocco. 
which they lost on penalties. Let's leave it in here in deep. Matesta for Vargas. We've got knuckles to the ball. Castaño goes to ground. Just clipped there by Zubimendi. Grimaldo. Good delivery and just over the top. Danny Vivian with a golden opportunity to mark his debut with a goal. Ronaldo with that wand of a left boot. What a terrific cross that is. Vivian gets up well, but just can't keep the header down. It was well marshalled by Pascal. And Mejica are the two players surveying the scene here for Colombia. It's Carascal who plays it on the deck for Arias into Cassiera and David Raya is forced into a circle. Didn't, but he slid in to make sure the ball was his. And a uh, bit of a clumsy challenge there from Sarabia and Juan Mejica. Actually plays his club football in Spain with Osasuna. He's on loan from Villarreal. Juan Mejica, 31 years of age. Getting his 23rd cap this evening. In fact, he spent the bulk of his playing career in Spain. Sierra. He's good in the air and using his aerial strength to good effect there. Marino gets out of a tight spot. Casiera for Colombia, Arias. Munoz. Arias again, can he find the right cross? This could break kindly for Luis Diaz. Try to nudge it down the line for Mejica, who'd come tearing forward in support. But the chance has gone. Well, he is the one they are looking towards to provide some inspiration. And we know that he can provide it. Leaves Danny Vivian for dead there. And it was Amrick Laporte who slid in when it really mattered. Colombia convinced they won that ball fairly, but Michael Oliver had other ideas. Castaño pulled up for that challenge. He did clip Marino. Extended his contract last month. Stood up there by Ayotharbo, the towering figure of Marino kept. Ronaldo. Oyatharbo looking across the line, man coming in, and, uh, well, Vargas just about gets hold of it. Wasn't the cleanest take from the goalkeeper, Sarabia was the man ghosting in from that right-hand side. It's a good ball in from Oyatharbo, Sarabia struggling to control it, and Jefferson Lerma just waiting for Vargas to take charge. Not quite on the same page here. And that could have been very embarrassing. Moreno did well to stow on his feet. And he's picked up another knock there, but uh, play goes on. Luis Diaz. Lerma. Arias. 
All very congested, but they found a way through. It's Arias, it's ambitious. Strikes it from a long way out. And Raya, well positioned to claim it. And that is it for the first half here at the London Stadium. A really good tempo between these two big international names. Not much in the way of clear-cut opportunities. No surprise to see Spain dominating the ball. period the first half that Spain dominated in terms of possession in terms of clear-cut openings they have been at a premium for Diaz cut out by Porro and a bit of a tangle there between Sarabia and Diaz and uh, Spain get the free kick. Hoping that they will be selected for a seat on the plane, whether it's for the European Championship in Germany or the Copa America. Leave it in there by Sarabia. Moreno! It's a terrific stop, that, from Vargas. It really is. Laporte keeping it alive. Moreno took it cleanly. That is a super save. It really is. Must have seen that very late, Vargas. It's Grimaldo to send over this corner. Marino trying to help it on. A lot of height on that one. Laporte was lurking. Safely back to Vargas. He tries to launch a counter attack. Laporte sensing an opportunity. Just got away from him. And uh, look up. James Rodriguez. Oh, Arias is down. And so too is Zubimendi. No doubt it was a foul, but uh, Zubimendi was caught by a flailing arm. Well, Spain will be on home soil next week, and uh, Colombia will also be in Spain as well. They'll be playing at the home of Atletico Madrid, the Metropolitano against Romania. Slips out wide to Mejica. Arias. James Rodriguez. And it squirts through to Ramiro. Now playing at Sao Paulo. James Rodriguez, 32 now. Who could forget that terrific World Cup goal he scored? did prove to be the goal of the tournament against Uruguay An absolute stunner Lacumi 
Diaz. Spreading the play, it's a good ball, Munoz. James Rodriguez, oh, and the fingertips of Romero. Sends it over. And the Colombian fans who are here tonight are raising their voices, they're enjoying this. It's a wicked strike from James Rodriguez. And he will take the resulting corner kick. Headed out by Laporte. Rios is there to keep it alive. Back in from Rodriguez. Porro. No distance on that flick whatsoever. Colombia really have come to life all of a sudden. Mejica. And Diaz will hurtle after this. He's got there ahead of Vivian. He's short on support. Diaz coming inside and then blazed over by James Rodriguez. Just feels like the mere presence of James Rodriguez has given Colombia a lift. They've really up the ante since he climbed off the bench. Vivian. Oh, Marino unflustered under pressure there. Zubimendi. Marino looking to switch it, and he's done so successfully. Sarabia sold the pass short, though, for Paro. That allowed Arias to nip in. Swept forward by James Rodriguez. Diaz. They're causing no ends of problems here, Colombia. Diaz clips it across. Can they put it away? They most certainly can. What a finish that is. Daniel Munoz to spark wild scenes of celebration amongst the Colombian contingent, of which there are thousands. He plays his club football in London with Crystal Palace. He scores in the capital tonight, and it is Colombia who strike first. And you have to say, that is richly deserved for how they've gone about their business in this second half and James Rodriguez has made a big, big difference to them. He started this move and Luis Diaz took it on. He twisted those Spanish defenders inside out. That is not an easy finish from Daniel Munoz, but didn't he take it well? A terrific strike. Fabulous, fabulous technique from Munoz. And it is Colombia who lead against Spain by a goal to nil. And a strike to savour, an embrace with the man who set him up, Luis Diaz. Amid all of those Colombian celebrations, Morata is on, Hosselu has gone off. Gerard Moreno also withdrawn. Alex Baena has come on, and you'll notice that Nico Williams is also on the pitch with Mikel Oyatabal departing for him. Well, they're really enjoying themselves out there. Oh, he's still got it, hasn't he? James Rodriguez pulling out all the tricks, and off they go once more. Diaz, he's tormenting Pedro Porro tonight. Diaz, there's the cut back, and pounced upon by Mikel Marino. Marino pushing it through, 
Lukumi with an important challenge, but Williams is there to pick up the bits. Grimaldo looking for Sarabia. Mahika got there, and that's volley goal was by Toro. Side netting. Toro came hurtling forward to drop on this. Makes good contact. Sadly for him, not on target. Will be withdrawn. And Rafael Bore will come on in his place. Big cheer goes up. Yamal. Bayena. Romaldo up from left back. Oh, free kick to Spain in a really promising position. A foul committed by Rios. Well, let's see who fancies this one. Ronaldo and Porro seem to be the two candidates here. It's Grimaldo in support. Morata waiting in the middle. Can Payena bring this one down? He can, and Vargas to the rescue. High fives all round in the defensive ranks of Colombia. As they thwart Spain again. And there is some capacity. Every time he gets on the ball, the atmosphere rises. Now, how Kubasi will, and Amrik Laporte's. And they're sticking to the task again. And look at the way that that challenge is selling. Loads back. When Spain have got in and around the penalty area. Well, they've got a chance to pump it forward here, Spain. Grimaldo drops kindly for Marino. Who oh, curses his luck? Ran kindly for him. He scooped under the ball and wide it went. Well, plenty to ponder going into the next game on Tuesday at the Bernabeu, and they will take on Brazil. And these international games are all about giving players an opportunity, having a look, tactical experimentation. Take nothing away from Colombia, who will savour this, and rightly so, if they do hold out. It looks like they will. Arias. Munoz, he's been excellent. Aside from the goal, defensively he's looked really sharp. 
And he is a player that loves to burst forward at every opportunity. And that was an evidence when he got himself inside the penalty area to stick away the goal in brilliant fashion. Tripped by Grimaldo. Last few seconds. Colombia without defeat in over two years since Argentina beat them in qualifying for the last World Cup. And that run without defeat now stretches to 20 games. Daniel Munoz with the decisive goal of the match. And what a goal. Worthy of winning a game like this. Colombia were a completely different proposition for this Spanish side after the interval. They went after them, did not give them room to breathe. Luis Diaz with the assist. A move started by James Rodriguez, who climbed off the bench, who just seemed to lift everyone around him. Spain, I have to say, having seen a lot of them in the last few years, were very disappointing. And they will have plenty to ponder ahead of their next game against Brazil at the Bernabeu. It is their first defeat in a year since Scotland beat them. And they are defeated here at the London Stadium in front of a crowd of over 43,000. Terrific stuff. As it ends, Spain nil, Colombia one.